Hello friends, this is Deepak from Apeteria. In this example, we are going to learn how to create interstitial or full screen ads in your Android app using AdMob. So let's see how to do this. So here I am using Android Studio 2.3.1. I'll create a new project for this. I will name it as interstitial example next I'll keep API 15 I'll name it a, uh, select MP activity I'll name it as main activity and finish so now our project is ready so first of all we need to add the reference to the add mob in our project so for that we need to go to tools menu firebase then in this assistant window you need to click on the add mob there is a link called as add a banner add to your app so this first we are going to use only this first two step to add the reference of the ad mob into your app so that we can create or we can use the interstitial ads in our app so first of all you need to click on this connect to firebase so if you are already logged log in to this uh, android studio then it will open uh, this type of uh, uh, dialog window directly if you are not signed in then you need to log into your firebase account first and then you need to create a new project or you can choose your existing project for this so i'll create a new project you need to select the country and then you need to click on the connect to firebase button okay now our app is connected to the firebase now we need to add the references in our app so you need to click on this button called as add add mob to your app it will show you the dialog box where it will show what all references it will add or what all dependencies it will add in your project so i'll just need to click on accept changes and it will build the cradle again it will add all the dependencies and it will start the cradle build has been started it is in progress The build is successful now. Now we'll close this window as we don't going to refer any further steps from this to show the interstitial ads. Now, uh, in the layout part, we are not going to do much, but we'll add simple one button. And on click of that button, we will redirect this. Uh, uh, we'll redirect uh, app a user to another activity of our project. So first of all, I will drag and drop one button. So as this is a constraint layout, I will just simply add few three constraints like top left and right to this button like this and I will change the text I will change the text to suppose open text on my button now on click of this we are going to open another activity so for that I will add one more activity in our project so right click on your app folder new activity empty activity I will name that as main two activity I'll click on finish and it has added one more activity now what we are going to do we are going to show a interstitial ad when user will click on this button and uh, in between the transition of this main activity and main act main two activity will show the ad so you can show your interstitial ads anywhere for the proper guideline where to show the where you can show the interstitial ad you can refer the link mentioned in the description box of this video so uh, make sure you are referring that uh, details guidelines by the google ad mob and then you can use the interstitial ad and 
uh, at the right place so that you should not get uh, your account should not get blocked right so <clears throat> in our main activity first of all we'll add the reference to the a class object of a class called as inter special add okay so we need to create a global account so i'll create it here inter special add and i will name it as inter special add right so that is the object of inter special add which we are going to show on our main activity then we need to create object of a class called as add request so this is to make a request to a add uh, which we are going to show on this interstitial add object so i'll say a new add request dot builder okay now we are going to build our add request from here so first of all we will directly uh, we will add the test devices we need to add the test devices cause you cannot click on your own ads so that means you cannot click on ads in your own app it may lead to a termination or a blockage of your ad mob account so to avoid that you need to make sure that you are mentioning or you are adding all your test devices here so if you are testing it on emulator then you need to mention it here that add request dot device id emulator and if you are testing it on some other test devices like physical phones then you can find this uh, id of your uh, device in the android monitor window so you can simply copy that and you can paste it here so i will comment it as i am going to test it only on emulator for now and then you need to say build right <clears throat> so i am going to build the add request then i will initialize the object of interstitial add object i'll say new interstitial add object and you need to pass the context in the constructor then i will say interstitial add dot set add unit id now this add unit id is something which you need to generate from the admob website so for that you need to open the admob.com there you need to register and once you log into the uh, your admob account you can click on this link called as uh, this menu called as monetize and in this monetize tab there is a button called as new monetize new app you need to click on this if your app is already on play store then you can search it here like this you can find your apps here or you can add it manually so i'll say test interstitial app and you can select the platform either android or ios and then you need to click on add app. then as a add type you can select the interstitial app. we have another video where we have went, uh, we have uh, created a video for how to add banner ads in your app so you can refer that video to learn how to add banner ads but in this video we are going to see how to add interstitial ads so here i have clicked on interstitial then you can select what type of ads you want to show text image video or all or you can select the combinations and you can uh, set the frequency like if no capping then it will show the impressions every time or you can set the capping like i can i want to show only 10 ads uh, in 60 minutes so every user will show only 10 ads in one hour right so i can say no capping and then i will say interstitial add on that is the add unit name so you have to create the add unit name which will be uh, which you can use to refer your this particular uh, ad right so add unit so i'll just say save it will create now you can link this to have firebase, firebase analytics so that you can analyze the uh, analyze how your app uh, ad mob or how your monetization is working so i'll skip for that skip that for now okay now after doing this you can see you will get this add unit id 
which you can use in your app right which will be linked to your account so that your app and this admob account is using this add unit id to uh, link right so i have just added it here now i will just create extract a resource and i will name it as add unit id and i will save it in my strings.xml file right now that my add unit id interstitial add unit id is uh, added then i will say uh, interstitial add dot load add and i need to pass the request so first of all uh, you need to create a request and then you you will load those ads into your interstitial add object now this will load the ad but it will not show the ad it will just create the ad for you and it will load that ad in an interstitial add object now <clears throat> to show this ad we need to call a uh, uh, show method but for that uh, we are going to do that on a click of a button not on the on create so we are writing this code on on create so what on create of this main activity we will load our ads and we will show those ads when user will click on the button we will create the click listener for the button so i will say Uh, this is my click listener. Uh, you need to import the class. Okay, now here when user will click on the button, first thing we need to check is whether that ad has been loaded properly or not. So we'll say interstitial ads dot is loaded or interstitial ad dot is loading. So either it is completely loaded or it is loading then we will say interstitial dot show so it will show the ad when it is completely loaded when user will click else we will redirect user to our another activity so i'll say start activity new intent first we need to pass the context and second name of the activity which you want to open right that's it now this is the click listener for the button now we need to make sure that once user will uh, it will show the ad to the user but what will happen if user will close the ad we want to redirect user to another activity that was the main functionality which user is expecting when user will click on that button so we need to say interstitial ad dot set ad listener and here we need to create object of a new ad listener and here from this we will use the function called as on ad close right so on ad close we will say start activity new intent here again we need to pass the context also well, main activity dot this comma main to activity dot class okay so that's it in the programming part now we need to add a permission so that it will load the ads because it will require a permission of internet so i'll open the manifest file and there we need to say use this permission and we need to add a permission internet right so that's it now we'll oh before that we need to set the on click for the button so i'll select the button and i'll find the on click property and there to set btn click okay now that's it now i'll execute this and we'll see the output on the gimlet the next thing, installing apk now we will open my emulator this saying installing apk okay now that activity has been loaded now i'll say click on open activity you can see it is showing the interstitial ad here and when i click on the close button it will take me to the first uh, uh, second activity I mean main to activity if i click on open activity again it is ad is not loaded so it is directly opening the uh, second activity okay so thank you for watching guys hope this video will help you subscribe our channel for more videos like this and don't forget to click on the bell sign 
to get the notification of all the videos which we are uploading on our channel thank you